Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So it's been a while since I've done one of these on-screen tutorials, but that's what we're gonna do here. So I was using Inkscape this evening and I was doing something that I do quite frequently and then it occurred to me, hey, you know, maybe not a lot of people know about this little trick or tip. So I wanted to make a quick video and walk you through the process. So this is the way I found, the easiest way I found in Inkscape to modify geometry of paths. And why would you want to do this? Well, if you are using the bitmap trace function of Inkscape, you have a picture and you want to turn it into a vector art so that you can import it into your CNC machine or your laser cutter or whatever it is or your 3D printer. So sometimes after doing the bitmap rendering, you end up with lines where you don't want lines. And the easiest way to do this is to delete the geometry by disconnecting the nodes and then reconnecting them in the way that you want. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do during this video. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and cut over to Inkscape. Okay, so here we are in Inkscape. This is the outline that I am going to use uh, with the CNC to fill with epoxy resin. So in this case, the outline turned out very well with the technique that I was using to map the bitmap. However, so this little piece right here, I want to be connected to this lower piece here so that it's all, quote, part of the pumpkin. And then this is going to be the stem part. So how do we do this? It, it turns out that it's really not that difficult to do. So step one, we're gonna go into the node editor. We are going to break apart some of the nodes delete the segment that connects them, and then we're gonna connect the nodes, creating the new vector. So let's start by clicking the node editor, which is edit paths by node, otherwise known as F2, if you are uh, so inclined to use the keyboard shortcuts. We're gonna click on that, and you can see the nodes on the vectors actually pop up. So step number one is finding two nodes that are close to where you wanna make the line. If you can't find one, which in this case, it's gonna be difficult. Um, if you can't find one, then you can actually add a node and I will show you how to do that. So let's start by, I'm gonna select this node and this node. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and click on both of them. And then you will see here that I have two uh, options. Well, I have many options, but in this case, I wanna use either the join selected nodes or break apart path at selected nodes. So to start off, we will use break apart path at selected nodes. So we'll click on that. Now you'll notice that they're no longer highlighted and the squares, what used to be squares, are kind of turned into diamonds. Now I'm gonna click anywhere on here to deselect those and I wanna grab one and I wanna slide it out of the way a little bit. So you'll see in this case, it was the one, the one that was quote unquote on top was the one that was on the upper half of the picture. I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna move this one, same thing. So the one on top was kind of the upper half. All right, so we got these two. Just gonna put that just like that for now. Okay, so there's no point in this general vicinity right around here to break apart and connect. So what we can do is we can add one very easily by just selecting this and double clicking. And when you double click, it actually adds a node wherever you want. So we will, now that that's selected, I will hold down the shift key and select this node. And then I will say break apart. Um, now you'll notice here what happened is this color kind of popped up. Now what that's really doing is it's telling you that this node is no longer connected to this node and this node is no longer connected to that node. So it's filling it in um, by trying to connect the ends of the uh, non-connected parts. So let's take this and we are going to slide that guy out a little bit and then take this guy and slide that down a little bit and these two guys. So now these two nodes are the endpoints of the vector. And we can just hit the delete key and it'll actually delete those nodes and select all the rest of them, hit the delete key and it'll delete it. And then same thing here, delete. So now what we wanna do is connect this node to this node and this node to this node. 
So now something I've learned with Inkscape, it's a little nuance here. If these handles are not kind of going in the general direction that you want the arc to go or the line to go, then it won't, it'll just create some uh, not so awesome geometry when you connect them. So I kind of moved the handles to where I needed to be. And then I will select this button here, which says join selected nodes. Boom, you can see how it just connected them and it created this uh, kind of bigger arc diameter here. In this one, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna select this guy, move it in the general direction that I want, select that one and say, join selected nodes. And there you go, another connected feature. And you'll see what we got, let's slide out. So now, what we have is we actually have the pumpkin. Let me get out of the node editor. The pumpkin kind of goes up around the flower here with the stem coming down. And so that looks a little bit more natural than it did after uh, the initial editing. Okay, well, I hope you like that. That is a super simple technique that is exceptionally valuable if you're doing a lot of editing in a vector program like Inkscape. All right, so that's it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. However, I would like you to leave a comment down below and tell me why you didn't like the video, and then hopefully we can make future videos better for you. All right, that's it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days, and don't forget to be inspired. And this one here. <clears throat> Hello. Go lay down. Hey, go lay down. Come on. Thank you. Um, see that there? I'm recording something. Shut the door. Do not scratch at it. Go lay down. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was itchy. And in some cases, there are lines where you don't want lines to be. And so you can futz around with the nodes and try to manipulate the nodes until you get what you want. Dogs are barking. I don't know why. Uh, hopefully they'll stop soon. So sometimes when you're editing, <clears throat> no, so